Hey there guys, so today I'm going to show you how to jailbreak the Apple iPod iPhone 3.1.3 firmware. Uh, I'm sure that this is a pretty old video and a lot of people have already done this, but uh, I just got the chance to use my brother's iPod um, as I don't have an iPhone anymore. So I decided, hey, I'll make a guide for those who haven't done it because there wasn't an easier guide out. So hopefully this will help you out, um, and uh, so let's get started. First off, you're going to need a program called Red Snow. That link you can get in the uh, sidebar and download that, it's free. And you're also going to need the device's firmware, which you can also download in the sidebar. Um, you're probably going to need the older firmware, so the 3.1.2 firmware, not 3.1.3. They both pretty much, they're pretty much the same kind of, the same firmware. Um, but this will jailbreak it, unless you're using a iPod Touch third generation or an iPhone 3GS, I think. Um, anyway, so we're going to get on with jailbreaking this one. As you can see, it is um, running. Let's go into the settings. It is running. 3.1.3 and let's get started so um, do you, what you're going to do first is click browse and find the firmware as you can see I'm using iPod touch first generation 3.1.2 so we'll click that it'll process the firmware and as soon as it's uh, identified it click next It'll patch the kernel and everything. So just take a minute. So it'll ask you what you want to do. Install Cydia, Verbose Boot, um, or Ver Verbose Boot. Um, custom boot logo, custom recovery image, already pwned. Uh, this has been pwned before, but you know, it really doesn't matter, so we're just going to go next. Um, so we're going to turn off the iPod. See, it's been so long since I've used one of these. Turn it off. And once it's off, click Next. Hold down the Power button. Hold down the Home and Power for 10 seconds. And now hold down just the Home button. usually goes about 20 seconds and it'll go on and there you go you see the uh, jailbreaking data and it'll upload everything this process actually does not take long at all I'd also like to warn you right now, if you are using an iPod or iPhone 3G or 3GS, do not upgrade using uh, Red Snow. Do not upgrade. Only use a custom firmware because it will update your baseband. And then you, if you need an unlock, you cannot do that. <laughs> so don't upgrade if you have a 3G or 3GS. And it should be loading any second now And as soon as it comes back up, I will show you that it is now jailbroken. Alright, so here we have the iPod. Now let's go. He also he has a lot of stuff on. 
And there you see Cydia, the program everyone loves. And that's pretty much about it. It's a very simple process for um, the iPod first and second generation. There is a special version for the second generation iPod with the new... Uh, no. Actually, I'm not sure. I will put all the information in the uh, in info bar. But for the old iPhone and the iPod Touch first generation, it is very simple. If you have any questions, feel free to ask, and please rate this five stars, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.